Okay, hello, it has been a week. The great thing about these weekly uploads is that so much has happened, so much to talk about. How do I actually fill you in in the most time efficient manner? I get something on that I actually do have something on. So you're probably thinking, wow, this guy sounds crispy. Real crispy. I hope I do, if I, if I don't, I'm sorry. Got a mic, little mic setup. Saw the comments on the last video. They said, get a mic. Okay, I'll get a mic, so I got a mic. Cool thing about this is I'm not even in a shot. You can still hear me crystal clear. So we're gonna have some fun with this raw gym workout today. Got a pull day ahead of us. We're gonna talk through a lot of things. Got some big news, uh, which we'll talk about later in the video. Lashing rain in Sydney again. Why did nobody tell me about the weather? I signed up for sun, beach, and Booty, just getting rain and, and no booty, not new there. Second thing you might've noticed, I'm in a new apartment. Let's do a quick little studio apartment tour. Still in the same building, different apartment. Okay, hello, welcome to a room tour. So I'm currently standing at the front door, immediately greeted by big bed, desk, which has become my little workstation over here for doing all my work in the mornings. You turn around this way, you got plenty of storage space, very nice, big, spacious bathroom. Got a washing machine in here. Got a kind of couch slash living area, which I sat on like once, full kind of kitchenette. And you got a balcony, a clothes source here. I know my nanny is watching this and thinking, isn't it great getting this washing done? What do one in two people who are watching this video right now and my nanny have in common? You're both not subscribed. Just yeah, do me a favor and subscribe if you like the content. It, it really helps out the channel and me financially. It, it, there's no financial incentive. But if there was, would you do it? Probably not. Okay, hello. We're going to start with a couple of pull-ups in the gym. I don't know if you guys know that uh, Australia thick pocket robot one always just comes on and shows her ass and says, like, welcome back to another Mikey Mike up sesh. That's them me. <sighs> Quick little set of eight. I'm trying to get better at them. It's gonna be fun. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty worrying slash bad news. I just hurt in here and it hurts when I breathe in. It probably isn't amazing. I'm gonna keep going and see what I can do. So nice and nice and light. Sound control. Nothing too excessive, although that does hurt like a bitch. Yeah, this back workout might be we do a premature at. Oh. Ah. <sighs> you could be in trouble here, boys, won't lie. It was lovely on this side. Okay, I won't lie, I think I'm gonna have to cut this back workout short because I'm in a considerable amount of pain here. I like pain when I breathe in, like sharp pain. Probably shouldn't keep going. Might do a bit of arms also. Okay, hi, quick update. Just saw the physio in the gym and I'm now left and I'm drinking a smoothie. A mango smoothie with protein for anybody in Kuji. Amazing things. I have heard something around my Jurassic cage. Hopefully, it's gonna wake up feeling a whole pile better tomorrow because it's quite sore at the minute. Quite sore when I breathe in. Yeah, I'm gonna get home, rest up a little bit, and uh, chill out for the day on physio's orders. So I've made it back to the room, heat back on, just lying on the bed. Gonna do some work on the L laptop, rest up, because I'm light and a little bit of discomfort. Trying to stay positive, mindset, everything. Definitely felt better in the back area. So I just spent an hour and 15 minutes, I think it was actually an hour and 20 minutes in the end, on the phone to an electricity company, which was an absolute nightmare. But long story short, something I didn't mention to you guys, we did secure permanent accommodation. As you know, I'm in temporary accommodation here at the minute. So we have a permanent place taken on a lease for the next 12 months, starting next Thursday. Really happy about that. The back is pretty sore, I won't lie, but I did just grab some food, like a little burrito bowl, but it's just chicken and rice. So I mean, calling it a burrito bowl is pretty generous, but I'm gonna have that a little Gatorade Zero Sugar. In a little bit of pain right now, I won't lie, like considerable amount of pain, but trying to stay positive. So we're not gonna acknowledge the pain, we're just gonna pretend I'm in not any pain. Checking it a bit. Okay, hello. Still in pain? 
Oh, my, my, my back pad has fallen off. I'm going to wait for the siren to pass. Hang on. I hope everybody's okay. I, I had a couple of other ideas that I wanted to do throughout this video, but the back has now limited me to staying in the room. I figured I was going to touch on something that I wanted to talk about. If you were following me in the last couple of videos, you know that I was recently reading The Diary of a CEO by Stephen Bartlett. I mentioned in those videos kind of jokingly that Stephen Bartlett isn't somebody who I actually like that much or, or follow that closely, but I thought the book was excellent. One of the main things that stuck with me from it was that pressure and stress is a privilege. So obviously, as you can imagine, you know, in December, I quit my job. I, I moved over here and I'm pursuing a, a new career with my own business. All the stress and pressure that comes with that and trying to find a place to live, which thankfully has been sorted as we spoke about. But it, it made me start thinking, and this, this really resonated with me, that pressure really is a privilege. Like I, I was in a very, I am in a very privileged position whereby pressure means something to me right now. You know, my whole success or failure is on me. And when I think back to when I was in my, my job there not too long ago, you know, I wasn't happy. I didn't feel like I had enough responsibility. I didn't feel like I was making a difference and now no matter how stressed or how difficult things might feel at any given time i'm able to put a little bit of perspective on it and say i'm lucky to be in this position i'm in control of my own ship here overall it feels pretty good perspective is really important stress pressure it is a privilege it's a great way of looking at it reframing your your stress reframing your pressure into something positive rather than letting it overwhelm you and, and becoming coming a little bit anxious of it all obviously this is a highly pressurized highly stressful time for me but it's been fun i've enjoyed it i've really enjoyed getting back to the contents i've really enjoyed the interactions with people again i've already had a couple of people out and about in the gym come up to me and recognize me here which has been insane you know as i said in the last video i'm over 17,000 kilometers away from home still getting people coming up to me which is crazy very humbling. I'd also just like to say that if you are watching this video, there is currently a giveaway that's just gone live over on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram here for eight weeks of free coaching with me. Celebrate the launch of the new business and my birthday, which is on Thursday. I will be 28 on Thursday. I hope you enjoyed today's video. All the little updates. Fingers crossed the back is okay because I'd, I'd really like to train tomorrow and the next day and every every day after that for the rest of my life. I will, I will give you an update when I have one. Really appreciate you watching. If you're still here, please like the video, drop a comment. Let's get that engagement up. Unless it's you, Nanny, because I know you don't have internet or a phone or a computer. And it's just my mom showing it to her. So I'll see you later.